The uh, new quiz going up on the iBang, either or neither. Nice. I'm going to try to do an impression for you. Okay. I can't win this quiz. I keep trying, but I can't win. You know why I've been trying, and I can't win? Let's try some more. We got a winning song? Yeah, we have the theme song, either or neither. Who put it together? Kokomo Joe. Oh. Is, where's Joe at? We're on the phones. We're have you taken the quiz yet? I've not taken the quiz yet, no. See, I don't know whether people... I don't think that we should ever play the song <gasps> until somebody goes over and beats it. All right. So do we have, like, a what do you call it page again? Like a winner's page? I believe so, yeah. All right. No, we don't have one up that time. It just everybody can do it. All right, let me hear the winning song. Either or neither, getting high off of ether, riding a zebra, or getting jungle fever. Either or neither, it's time for some fun. Pick one or none, it's either or neither. All right, send me in, Kokomo Joe. Kokomo. Please come into the studio. Who's working with him today? Staten Island Dana. All right. First of all, Kokomo, this is radio, and we wear long pants here, okay? Yes. Later, if you get a job as a lifeguard, wear short pants. Can do. Uh, the other thing. Yes. You know what century this is, right? Uh, 22nd. Okay. You're fucking cutting some old school stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's catchy. Either it's catchy. or neither, I'm wearing a straw hat, and I'm taking my gal in a canoe. <laughs> well, I really try to dig deep for that one. But, I mean, what are we fucking doing? The Charleston, or are we fucking hip-hop? Well, I, can, I can recut it and give you a better one. All right, let me hear it one more time. Either or neither, getting high off of ether, riding a zebra, or getting jungle fever. Either or neither, it's time for some fun. Pick one or none, it's either or neither. This is like lost in time here with him. <laughs> it's timeless. Here's a, a, anything new between you and Dana? No, I haven't seen her. She she doesn't work today. Mm. Somebody told me she's off with one of the other interns. Oh, no. Yeah. He was taking her to Coney Island. Well, I'll be there later. That's not weird. I just, you know, I'll just, I want to ride the ride. I like the idea of that. <laughs> yeah. Just showing up with your straw hat and ukulele trying to do either or neither. Why? <laughs> uh, Bunny, you're on the Run of Fest show. Hey, buddies. Yeah. Um, hey, do you guys know that um, ice cream shop? I think it's on 7th Avenue. It's called the Big Grape. Big Gay Ice Cream Shop. I saw the Big Gay Ice Cream Truck around, but I didn't know they had their own shop. Yeah, they, the, uh, they have their own uh, store, and they have the truck. Well, I want Fez to drive the truck down here to Tampa and meet me up at the convention center, and then he and I can, uh, you know, go down there and maybe change some votes. Here's who Fez should change the first vote is his mom's. <laughs> he yeah, takes her to Fox News. For dinner. Yeah. All right, what are some of the gay ice creams? Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think Fez needs to become buddies with those guys because they look like his kind of people. All right, what are the name, some of the names of these ice creams? All right, the Gobbler. All right, jeez. All right. <laughs> Mexican Afogato. All right, that... Uh... The B. Arthur. All right, this makes me nervous because that's a child. Dude... Look at the fucking one for the gobbler. It's two kids just fucking about the gobble. This is, this is yes, awesome. they're eating ice cream. It's, You're the big, the, it's a big gay ice cream. You need that the, one the gobbler. You're making it sexual by freaking out. It's a big gay ice cream. I need that the gobbler to the right is children. You're I'm having saying. horrible thoughts about children and ice cream and gayness. This is doesn't seem kosher to me. <laughs> and they, the kids show up again. Monday, Sunday. What is that? Like a dirty Sanchez or something? Do they make their own ice cream there, or are they buying it somewhere else? Because I love, like, homemade ice cream. Let's see. I'll go to the About page. Yeah, go to About. Look into it deep. Well, the big gay ice cream <laughs> is either or neither. Hmm. They have soft serve. Let's see if it's homemade. 
I want to put together a big ice cream Fourth uh, of July thing for the best kind of homemade ice cream places oh, in the country. Awesome. That's dope. Let me just ask you this. Yeah. If you go into an ice cream place, right, uh-huh. and they ask you, oh, would you like to t- t- taste much one of those, which one would you pick and said, yeah, give me a spoonful of? Um, and it's like a homemade ice cream place. Cookie dough. Cookie dough for you. Hazelnut. Can I tell you where you're both wrong? Okay. Okay. Always ask for the vanilla. Because vanilla is in every ice cream that they have. Mm. So, if you find out they have a great base, then you're pretty more home free to pick your shitty cookie dough (laughs) or your stupid fucking... Stupid. Hazelnut's delicious. First of all, are most places even going to have it? I think at at uh, a place like the Big Gay... Ice cream shop, the small yeah. ones, they will have it because people they people love hazelnut. Like it's over all, a butter pecan. Yeah, I think because people love Nutella, and Nutella is just fucking huge. Why do people love Nutella? I've never know. heard of this. Before. I'm not a big fan of Nutella, but I do like hazelnut. I think Nutella is too sweet. <laughs> I like it cherry vanilla. Cherry vanilla is a shit. Don't cherry- like this. Ah, oh, I just got a nice cherry with that. That's what I always say. <laughs> oh, my last bite was all cherry. Surprise. Cherry Garcia is the shit. Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. It's nice. The, uh, but I like to even go, I like to find a place that's just like completely homemade. You know, New England's got a bunch of them when you're up yeah. that way. Oh, yeah. And I'll fucking drive 10 miles off the road to find a good place. And I mean off-road completely. 10 straight miles of driving through woods. <laughs> you know, like an ATV or something? Or? Yeah. <laughs> I like to go for the double fudge because then I have one fudge and I'm like, oh, I have more fudge. Wait, you you acted like you've got two hands though. Yeah, well, one. So you hand get two single fudges. Fudge. Well, I could, I guess. You know. It doesn't make sense. Uh, Keith, you're on the Fez. Hey, uh, Uncle Mojo only missed it by 88 years. It's the 21st century, not the 22nd. Crazy fuck. What are you, oh. a designer baby? No. Are you from the future? I go to a highly educated university. What school? <laughs> no, I go to the University of Minnesota. Hmm. No, we're well, It's an hour behind, so it's twenty second cent. Yeah. Are you always calling your friends and saying, "Oh my God, I just watched The Office. Make sure you put it on." <laughs> um, yeah. Craig, you're on my fest. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Uh, I just wondered if you noticed that as soon as Fez tells you that he's in a panic mode, he just really expects you to quit talking to him, and if you don't. He panics even more. Yeah, when I get the short answers from him, I I saw him when I came in today, and then I'm like, uh, he looked kind of disheveled, and then I'm like, uh, you ready for the show? And he goes, oh, I'm all right. And I'm like, it was such a week, I'm all right, that me and Hicks were rolling. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, Chris, so- you're on the wrong, on the Fed show. Hey, buddies. I uh, just want to let you know they're running a special over at that ice cream shop. This, this weekend only, chocolate fudge packer. All right, see. Ooh. See, that's fucking sexist. Salty pimp is another flavor. <laughs> that right. I don't I don't like that. <laughs> you don't like salty on your uh, ice cream? No, just the name, salty pimp. I don't want to eat a pimp. Yeah, they make me nervous. I don't want to think anything sexual when it comes to food, no, no. matter what. Rue McLahan and shakes and floats. Dirty. I'm even getting it. Another salty pimp. Uh, John, you're on the Run of Fez show. Rainbow yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, that song that kid made up, that's Boardwalk Empire. That's like Eddie Cantor. Either or neither, getting high off of ether, riding a zebra, or getting jungle fever. Either or neither, it's time for some fun. Pick one or none, it's either or neither. Can I tell you why it's really grown on me? It's right now. It's my favorite song I've ever heard. I can heard. do a more contemporary cut. <laughs> no, this don't. takes okay. us back to a fucking wondrous time. It yeah. does. It's I love nostalgic. it. Yeah, makes me want to vote for fucking Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> and then go see John L. Sullivan himself. Love the Trust Buster. Either I need that yet, fucking a beaver. Either I need that now. <laughs> I want to win it. Um, George, in Austin, you're on a fez. Yeah, not many people know this, but this ice cream company actually would deliver popsicles straight to your mouth. All right, see, that's what I worry about. I'm going to vomit. 
Brett, you're on the run for the show. Yeah, I was wondering if that ice cream shop had blueberry ice cream or not, because, I mean, they'd have to mix it with something, because I know it's not a standalone fruit, but I was oh. just curious if they had that. Jeez. Oh. You didn't even get that one, do you? No, I, I got it. What was it? Uh, there's this episode where Fed's talking about kiwis and fruit and how blueberry isn't a standalone fruit. I don't remember that. I, I listened to it on YouTube. Oh, where is it? You know, we can't bring up uh, fruit juices without playing a clip. <laughs> Which uh, clip oh, is that? This clip. Now, the blueberry is one that can't work on its own. It has to have something with it, like the kiwi. It's uh, not a, a stand-alone stand fruit. Um... Why isn't that viral on the internet? <laughs> that is the most... It's a little painful. What <laughs> part? Uh, well, I, I agree with it. One. Yeah. First and foremost. Uh, <laughs> Thank two. you. You're welcome. Uh, just, you know, the whole... What was that? Oh, uh, it's thin. The whole break. Yeah. Dead air. Um, Mark, you're on the run of show. Um, either and either is the greatest song I've ever heard. You well, you can hear it if you go over and play either or neither. And what is what is today's either or neither about? Today's either or neither is porn site or basic cable TV show okay. or neither. I'm going to give you one, two, or three, so I won't ruin it for the people at home, and then you can vote for me. Okay. And hopefully, I don't know how many I got to get before I hear the either or neither song. Okay. Co number question one. Covert Affairs. Porn? No. All right. No. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. All right. Two, I Know That Girl. This is kind of tough. Okay. Question three, Unsupervised. Uh, I think I know this one. Oh, you do? Then save me. All right. Okay. Question four, Fairly Legal. Don't oh, know. Oh, boy. I'm going to go for that. Okay. Number five, Born Bad. Well, do you know? I think I know. Okay. Right. Then do it. Yeah. Okay. Lost Girl. Don't know. You're a lost little girl. That sounds fucking terrible. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> okay. That. Reality Junkies. How long is this fucking test? Is it going forever? It's only a couple more. Uh, it's got to be that, right? I think so. All right. We live together. All I don't right. Think that's anything. In plain sight. It's got to be that. Okay. Look, wait, what kind of plane is it? P L A N E. <laughs> I passed it. I already answered. Fire zone. I never heard. Do you I, think you guys? I have no idea. Um, fire crotch. I would know. I fucking definitely <laughs> would vote on that. <laughs> Dream Machines. That sounds awful. I'm pretty sure I know what that is. Okay. Jesus. Co college rules. I would think it's... Okay. <laughs> either or neither. This test takes too fucking long. <laughs> Extreme Barbarians? No. Fuck that. <laughs> All right. I know that one. <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm going to... All right. Finish quiz. Oh, Jesus. What do we get? Oh, We're not God. hearing it. Either or neither, getting high off of ether, riding a zebra, getting jungle fever. Either or neither, it's time for some fun. Pick one or none, it's either or neither. Fuck either me. or neither. Either or neither. Either or neither. How come Pornhub didn't you up there? Any fucking places I've heard of. Uh, article up today on the iBang. Um, Pornhub. <laughs> uh, may get a new spokesperson. Yeah, that's right. Oh, Pornhub wow. has gone out to try and reach Ocho Cinco. And they put out a press release. We would like to extend a proposal for you to legally change your name to Chad Seisnueve, which would be Chad69 on the day of July 9th, 2012. 6 9 2012 and they will pay him $69,000. Um, he's got to do it. 
<laughs> he needs the money. Why, what, yeah, he fucking he just got cut. <laughs> yeah, he ain't the goddamn patron anymore. Who's to pick him up? He got cut because the finest quarterback in the country can never find him open. Mm-mm, he can't. He can mm-hmm. read the playbook. I bet he goes to the 49ers. I bet Harbaugh goes after him. He forgot what square in means, so that was very <laughs> difficult for him. If you had bread basket, catch it. Oh, Nine oh, round. oh, oh shit. Oh, damn. I hope he's not listening. Uh, he no, does. I do. I do hope he's listening. And what are you going to do? Fucking smack the taste out of his mouth? I like your attitude, son. <laughs> you might be going to Florida with Mr. Watley. Okay. Maybe that'll stir up some conversation.